what's going on everybody thank you for tuning in to another episode and today we are going to talk about basically how to take care of your plated jewelry okay i'm kind of getting fed up with people coming on here on the internet what i mean youtube saying oh my jewelry tarnished i bought it from six ice i bought it from golden guilt i bought it from aparo and my jewelry tarnished it's turning my neck green and all this crazy stuff and to be honest with you i'm getting kind of fed up with it because you making those businesses look bad and i'm just speaking from a businessman standpoint so ultimately you making what i do look bad so we're going to talk about this right after this Public service. That boy at it again. Number got big with my age, but smaller with friends. I guess I'm at that magic number where I just can't pretend. Niggas turning the bitches and bitches showing they skin. The devil's up for the wind, like Jordan in that fourth quarter. iPhones and drones crush human bones at the slaughter. The poor man's daughter empty her soul to get her purse. Made by some designer dude with that leprosy curse. We all faint in the hearse. Need that cash on the double. Virtual shit got real, while the real got crumbled. Even they beards is fake. Can't even handle the stubble all this internet beef can't even handle the rumble everybody is somebody we despise the humble what's even going on everybody thank you for tuning in to another episode um please subscribe to my youtube page please follow me on instagram please um like this video i would greatly appreciate it please share this video and you know i was talking about basically i'm tired of these dirty nail guys you know guys come on here with the dirty nails you know my nails a little dirty right now but <laughs> And you can see them, and they don't show their face, but they like, oh, my jewelry tarnished. I bought it from Aparo. I bought it from Six Ice. I bought it from Hip Hop Bling. I bought it from all these websites that claim that there's their necklaces don't tarnish. Oh, but my necklace tarnished. Well, first of all, let me say this to you. Your necklace is going to tarnish if you're wearing it and you're getting it wet and you at a pool party, number one. Your necklace is going to tarnish if you wear it every day okay so let's talk grown man right now grown woman right now all right if you pay a hundred some dollars two hundred some dollars for some plated jewelry then it's gonna tarnish eventually if you are not taking care of it what's funny is i've had my jewelry for some years now none of my jewelry has never tarnished because there's a time you're supposed to wear your jewelry and there's a time you are not supposed to wear your jewelry all right um I wear my jewelry when I'm going out. I don't wear my jewelry on an everyday basis. If I want to wear jewelry on an everyday basis, then I will get me some real jewelry. All right? So let's make that clear. They make all these companies that make gold-plated jewelry, silver-plated jewelry, rhodium-plated jewelry. They do an excellent job, all right, for somebody who takes care of their jewelry. It's like shoes. It's like clothes. It's like anything else. If you take care of it, it will last unless it is very cheaply made. And the jewelry that I get is not very cheaply made at all, right? So I'm going to go over a few things with you guys that you might know and you might not know. So you have different types of jewelry. You have gold-plated jewelry. You have silver-plated jewelry. You have rhodium-plated jewelry. I'm, I'm going to assume my audience already know the difference between gold and silver, okay? Sometimes you have gold-plated jewelry in the underneath metal is silver sometimes you have gold plated jewelry and sometimes the underneath metal is copper or brass those are the metals that when they say they neck getting turned you know then turn green that's what they're talking about the silver no it's not gonna turn your neck green so that's more of a higher quality uh when gold is plated and the underneath metal is silver all right rhodium is the metal that they don't you can't to my understanding, I don't believe that you can make like all rhodium jewelry, like an all rhodium ring, because rhodium is what makes the jewelry shine. That's what jewelers put on there to make the jewelry shine. So let's say you have a white gold ring and it's then lost its luster. You take it back to the jewelry place. They're going to put um, rhodium plating on there for it to shine. You guys can look this up. I'm just giving you a, a basic rundown of jewelry so you can understand it. Once you understand these things, you will know when, how, and where to wear your, you know, to, to wear your jewelry and how to take care of it. All right. I'm gonna give you guys the blueprint. I have different types of jewelry in front of me. A gold plated uh Jesus piece, one of my favorite Jesus pieces from Golden Guilt. And this one is gold plated over steel. Okay, steel don't turn your neck green. All right. Here's another gold plated Cuban link I got from Amazon.com to match my 
gold plated uh, Jesus piece and because I didn't like the one that Golden Gilt supplied for free and I'm not knocking them it's just that it was free so I wanted something of more of a quality so I wanted it to match so I got the gold plated over the steel and I believe that's 18 karat if I'm not mistaken so I got a 18 karat over steel necklace to match that right now here's a white gold plated um jesus piece one of my favorite from golden gill as well so i went online on amazon and i believe this is a four millimeter and i got a uh white gold plated necklace cable rope chain to match all right this is a rhodium plated diamond cluster ring that i got from uh jerry fresh all right very nice it's got the same shine and luster as my Jesus piece that I have from goldenkill.com. And here's one I got from Six Ice. Now the companies that I'm naming, they're great companies to buy jewelry from. All right, and this is gold plated. And I believe the um, underneath metal is brass. This is a stainless steel. And as you can notice, the stainless steel, if you can notice, and the Jesus piece, the, 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 the white gold has a little bit more luster, or I should use this, I'm sorry. The white gold have a little bit, this is white gold right here, you know, a little bit more luster than the steel, the metal, all right? And this is from Six Ice. Beautiful baguette uh, piece right here, back. I did a review on that. You might want to check that out. And here's a gold-plated steel bracelet, but they call this like gold steel, where my gold steel swag gang at, you know what I mean? So there's a difference between them saying, hey, it's 18 karat over um gold plated over steel than them saying you know regular gold steel why am i giving you this i'm giving you this to let you know that there is a difference so i don't have my gloves on like i usually do because i want to make that a part of how to take care of your jewelry so number one all right i know i'm touching my jewelry with my bare hands right now but here's the thing i'm not afraid if my jewelry turn is to buy some more here, here we go. You use your gloves first. So when you put on your jewelry, you take your jewelry off. Yes, you put on gloves. If you're not willing to pay for that and go through that, then don't complain about your jewelry tarnishing if it's plated. All right. Get you some real jewelry, boss man. Um, number two. I got these wipes right here off of Amazon.com. They're regular jewelry wipes. They have different. They have so many different brands. Usually one comes with a white one and one comes with another color one. The white one is the one you use to shine. The dark one, as you can see how dirty this is, is used to um, clean it off. So after you rock your jewelry, you know, you want to take this and wipe this off. All right. It's been around your neck. You've been wearing cologne. You've been wearing perfume and you put it back into a safe place. That's right. So uh, you, you get what I'm saying? It's, it's real simple to take care of your jewelry. This is why none of my stuff is tarnished. And by the way, another uh, cool company is Ice Bros. They have a, a nice Jesus piece, and I'm gonna actually use them as an example of what I also do to take care of my jewelry. I use what's called an anti-tarnish bag. They have different sizes. This just so happened to be a big one, but it's big Jesus piece I'm getting ready to show you guys. And you want to rock this. All right, so you keep your jewelry in this thing right here. All right, I also have a jewelry case. This is what's called an anti tarnish strip. So when I'm done with my jewelry, I'm gonna wipe it off with the dark rag, clean it off with the shine rag before I leave the house. So let me backtrack for a minute. Use the white cloth to uh, make it shine. Use the darker cloth to clean it off, all right? And sometimes you don't even need to make it shine because it's already shining. Cause like my jewelry is already shining. I just use this to wipe it off after I'm done with my outing. And then I put it in this bag. And for double coverage, I use this strip right here, anti-tarnish strip. You can get all this stuff from Amazon.com. Now, if you don't have anti-tarnish bags and you have a bag like this, right? Some people like to stick the anti-tarnish bag in the bag that is supplied from the jeweler that you normally get. The reason why I like doing that is because I don't want no air getting into my jewelry because I don't want my jewelry to oxidize and start tarnishing. So I stick it inside the anti-tarnish bag. And yes, I'm talking real elementary for those who might not understand. It's okay, no disrespect to nobody, all right? Then I put the anti-tarnish strip in there, right? And I get out all the air that might be in the bag. I seal it up real nice, right? Make sure it's sealed up real nice. And then I put it into the bag 
that it came with all right so i hope i'm giving you guys some pointers so uh then when i'm ready to go out i take it out of the bag and you know i, I wipe it off again and rock the piece of jewelry that i want and what i like about these uh jewelry cloths that they sell on amazon because there's so many different brands like they don't mess up your diamonds so they're not wet you don't want to get the wet jewelry cloths you want to get the jewelry cloths that are not wet because they got wipes i'm not talking about wipes okay and i take this jewelry cloth right here and it's also good to take this jewelry cloth and put it in some type of ziploc bag if you're that pressed because of the stuff that's on there to keep it clean you might want to you know keep that bag i mean keep that cloth into a bag seal it up real nice and put that somewhere until it's time to go out again all right so i'm just using the six ice bags for an example if you do this and not wear this jewelry and go into some party where the pool this is not for pool party if you do wear it at a pool party you already know what's gonna happen your diamonds are gonna get cloudy because they usually simulated diamonds that's on this uh plated jewelry or you know vvs cz diamonds or moissanite diamonds or whatever over time they will get cloudy if you don't like that then buy yourself some more jewelry okay that's my philosophy but bad talking and saying all my jewelry tarnished all that stuff how come i don't have a problem with that all right so i'm, I'm a little bit older gentleman and i just like for people to use common sense all right so i'm gonna put this back in the bag right here toss that to the side so what are your secret weapons you got the cloth you got the gloves, you got the anti-tarnish bag, you got the anti-tarnish strip, you got the double whammy with, you know, the, the, the baggie right here. And this method works for all types of jewelry, from steel to gold steel to gold plated steel, gold plated, plated brass, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So um, even the ring right here, you see my ring, it's got diamonds all around it, you know, simulated diamonds, CZs, you can wipe it off. And they got different size baggies. So I don't like to stuff a whole bunch of jewelry in one bag. So each piece of jewelry has its own bag normally. All right. And, and if you really want to get gangster with your jewelry, okay, then you want to get a jewelry case. I did a review on a jewelry case. And you put these anti tarnish strips inside the pockets of your jewelry case all right to stop the ox you know your, your jewelry from oxidizing or whatever they call it from tarnishing if you follow these steps that i just gave you guys your jewelry will not tarnish and i hope i'm being clear okay i'm not going to hold you guys up longer than i already have i hope you guys learned something today but i just want to really be clear you know, because these people and then like a few YouTubers are talking about, oh, yeah, man, I want to get my money back from the company. No, listen, man, you, you pay two, three hundred dollars, hundred dollars to, you know, put some jewelry. You know how many times you would have to buy a piece like this? I mean, come on, man. If it was real, come on, man. This is ridiculous. You, you're making the companies look bad. So I'm last but not least, I'm going to tell you guys some good companies to get jewelry from. You got Six Ice. Great company to get. Uh, diamond clustered jewelry from you got the gold shop when it come to watches to me they got the best watches i call it my money bag yo watch i did a review on it you want to check that out ice bros is one of my favorite places to get the, G the jesus piece that i just showed y'all all right i love this jesus piece golden guilt is next on the list okay they have some nice looking real looking jesus pieces actually this is one of my everyday pieces all right and when i say every day i don't mean i rock it every day what i mean is if i am gonna rock something to the movies real quick or to the grocery store or something it'd be this piece right here all right um and i'm gonna keep it clean and if it tarnishes i'm gonna buy another one um amazon.com got some great selection on the steel jewelry and the gold steel jewelry amazon.com great place all right jewelry fresh i got this ring from jewelry fresh that's a nice a uh, place to get jewelry as well they got some of the old school style jewelry um so you know those are some nice places where you can get jewelry from um ice giant is another one you know for the moistenite 
Um, so I'm not gonna hold you guys up. I hold. I hope I made it very clear on how to take care of your jewelry. I greatly appreciate my audience. Please subscribe. Please uh, like this video. Please share this video. And I hope I'm very. You know, I hope I help somebody today, man. Because that's discouraging to see somebody post something. Oh, I want my money back. My jewelry tarnished. Come on, man. We're not kids, man. We know what we're paying for. I mean, at least, at least I'm not. You know. And if you think you're about to pay hundred dollars for some jewelry that looks real and um, it not tarnished, and you're wearing it every day like a rock like you a rock star and i mean yeah you know what i mean and some of these people that come on here that i see on youtube no disrespect to them but it's like you know you, you need to clean your nails man and clean your, your hands and, and stuff if you're gonna show them or wear gloves i'm a working man so i got you know but if you're gonna show your hands and not wear gloves you know but i try to wear my gloves as much as possible then you know that that lets me know when i see the background and i see the dirt and your crud and your nails how you take care of yourself is probably how you take care of your jerk all right so <laughs> that's just being real man maybe it's the old school to me but that's just it is so god bless y'all y'all take it easy uh peace out